Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I'd like you to, to turn to uh, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. I just want to do a few short videos. 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. Chapter 3. It says this. In verse 11, persecutions and afflictions come unto me at Antioch, Iconium, Listeria. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me, ye, and all that live a God in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Shall suffer persecution. We will be persecuted as Christians. We will be persecuted. I met a, a guy last week and he came up to me and he had his daughter and he said, you know, this Illuminati and it's stopping religion and it's getting everywhere and it, they're winning and I'm giving up. I, I'm giving up about the Christian faith. We're not winning. And I said to him, are you a man or are you a mouse? If there are kids in Syria can get uh, killed for their faith by ISIS, cannot you stand today in the midst of the secularism and all what's going on? Ye and all that shall live a godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You're going to get persecuted if you follow the Lord. You're going to get criticized if you follow the Lord. But at the end of the day, what are you going to do? I've got to go forward. I've got to preach the gospel. I've got to share. Why? Because I know there is a hell. I know there's a wrath to come. The wrath of God is coming. And it says the love of Christ constrains us. The more I study the Word of God, the more I'm in the Word of God, the more I'm in it, the more I realize the wrath of God is coming. And people are lost. They're going to go to hell forever and ever and ever. They're going to hell and they're going to be lost. And you have come to know the Lord. You have come to know Him as your Lord and Savior. So stand in the grace of God. Stand in the gospel. Stand on the word of God. Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Paul says to Timothy, you know, we have not a spirit of fear, but of sound mind. Are you a man or are you a mouse? Are you a man or are you a mouse? Wage war for God, not violence, physical violence, but spiritual violence. Get praying, get moving in the Spirit of God, get going in the things of God. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Take on the whole armor of God, the Word of God, the Spirit of God, the prayer. Fight the good fight. Polycarp, the old bishop, throne. In the midst of the lions and devoured, Irenaeus, Latimer, Ridley, these great men of God. Down in Manchester, John Bradford and uh, over a hundred martyrs, children thrown, killed, burnt alive for their faith. Are you a man or are you a mouse? Get into the grace of God. Get into the things of God. It says there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ. It says you are a new creature in Christ. You are washed. You are clean. You are new in Him. You are redeemed, my friend. You are washed in the blood of the Lamb. You can come into the presence of God and worship Him. You can know Him as your Lord and Savior. You know the Lord. You are in the presence of God. You are going to glory. And there might be battles on the way. There might be criticism on the way. There might be difficulties and pain and struggle. But you are going to be with God forever and ever. And enjoy his presence forever. So while you are down here. Fight the good fight. While you are down here. Battle for the Lord. Rescue the lost. From eternal damnation. They are going to be lost forever. Burn and burn and burn. Forever and ever. In agony. 
in agony they will be in agony and it's up to you to go out there and give a tract to give a cup of water to the homeless to, to, to put your arm around the broken hearted to preach the unsearchable riches of Christ are you a man or are you a mouse stand up and be a man in, in your generation John Knox said give me Scotland or I die and it was said of John Knox when he prayed Queen Mary shook and feared him more than she feared armies. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get on my knees. I'm going to spend more time in prayer, more time in the word of God, more time in the Puritans and the early church fathers and the reformers reading good solid books. I'm going to spend more time on my knees, more time in prayer, more time with the Lord. And I'm going to continue to serve the Lord with all my heart and reach out to the lost. That's what I'm going to do. And they can spit in my face, they can laugh at me, they can humiliate me, they can criticize me, but I'm going to do it. Why? Because I know the terror of the Lord, I know there is a wrath to come, and I know that they're going to be lost if someone doesn't speak out, if someone doesn't go to them. And I know the joy that I have. And I cannot keep that joy to myself, I have to give it to those who need him. How can you stand on a cliff edge and watch thousands of people running to the cliff edge and diving off the cliff edge? Little children, teenagers and families and they run and they jump off the cliff edge and they fall and dash their head to the floor, killing them. Would you stand there and say, oh, I, I, I don't say anything. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but please don't go over there. You're going to hurt yourself. Uh, please, please don't jump. Or, or I, I can't tell them because I might hurt their feelings. Or, or, or I, I, I'm sorry, but please, please, please don't do that. Or, or, or if I tell them, they might criticize me. Or if I, if I tell them, people might not be happy with what I've done. Or, uh, or, or I just stand there and, and, and just wave at them and go, no, 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 don't do, no. You stand there and you shout out and you say, don't go over that cliff. And you would do everything you could to stop them going over that cliff. Are you humanly possible? You'd say, please, just cry out. Danger. It's not about you, it's about them. It's not about you, it's about him. So forget about yourself. Forget about what people think about you. Stop worrying what people think about you. Stop worrying about what the world thinks about you, what the church thinks about you, what anybody thinks about you. You have to do what you have to do before God. You stand before Him on Judgment Day. And I, friend, I could not stand here today in all conscience because the more I get to know the Lord, the more I'm in prayer, the more I study the Word of God, the more I realize that people who do not know the Lord are lost. And I have to cry out. I'll stand on my head if I have to and put on a clown's uniform if it will mean I can get people to stop and hear the message. It doesn't matter about me. It doesn't matter what matters is about the lost and, and the needy and the glory of God most of all. So stop worrying about what people think about you. Stop worrying about the Illuminati or whatever it is. Or whatever movements around there that seems to be powerful. It doesn't matter. It says this. And I'm standing on it. In 2 Timothy chapter 3. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, 
incontinent, fierce, despisers, traitors, heady, high-minded, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, for such turn away. Ever learning, never learning. But then he says, but they shall proceed no further. But verse 10, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. In the midst of the times, get to the solid rock of the word of God, to sound doctrine, to the sound word of God and study the word of God. That is how you'll be strong. Not looking at the Illuminati, not looking at all the issues and problems around us. Then you are going to quake. Then you are going to be full of fear. What you need to do is to get more and more in prayer and in the word of God and sound doctrine. Get yourself strong in the word of God. Be in a church where they teach the word of God. Where they're grounded in the word of God. And be solid in the word of God. We have too many BBC Christians today. You know the BBC? Everything's nice, don't upset anybody. It's all BBC Christianity. Nobody will offend anybody. No one will preach hell. And if anybody does preach hell, all oh, shock. And if they preach them like I preached them yesterday, shock and horror. Oh, it's too much. Whatever. But it's BBC Christianity. If Christianity is true, then every Christian in the UK should be out on the streets screaming out, Beware of hell, it's terrible, don't go there. Trust in the Lord. There should be people screaming out there every week. But there isn't, you know why? I tell you why. Because the people of God don't believe in hell. They don't believe in the doctrines of the Bible. Because most of them are in the four walls. So are you a man or are you a mouse? But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience. Sound doctrine. And living that life in humility and love, but being rooted and grounded in the word of God. You will not stand today unless you're in the word of God. I want to get more and more into the word of God. That's how we're going to stand today. And that we unleash the word of God onto our cities, towns and villages and university campuses. That we unleash the word of God. Then people will awaken. People will be offended. People will be put off. But you know what? I remember when I went down to... In Manchester only six weeks ago. And I preached. And there must have been 80 young people and they were furious at my preaching they hated my preaching they were absolutely against my preaching i go down now near the cathedral and they give me high five why because they know even though my preaching has been hard they know one thing about me that it comes deep from within a reality that i do care So opposition, don't worry about it. Because some people in that opposition will see that you really mean business with God and you mean business with them. But don't be a coward. Don't shrink back. But get into the word of God and study it and read it and digest it and begin to grow in the word more and more. And then give it out, share it. But don't fear man. With so much BBC Christianity today, so much political correctness in the church today, everybody's scared to upset people. We're all full of fear. We're all walking on eggshells these days. A bit of excess of preaching out is better than everybody walking on eggshells thinking, oh, I can't say that. Can't say abortion's wrong. Can't say people go to hell. Can't say this. Can't say that. Oh, oh, oh. BBC Christianity. It's not of God. God bless you. Take care and God bless.